Hello everybody, today we will see how you can remove unused JavaScript code from our next JS website. First we will see how we can detect the unused, unused codes and some performance, performance optimization techniques. <coughs> so this is a website and you can measure the performance of this website going to this uh, tool. This tool is called Page Speed Insights. If you paste in the URL here and run analyze, it will analyze any website and show you what was the uh, score for that website. You can see it's not doing so well in the performance category uh, because this is a large page and there are so many images. That's why this is not doing so well in the performance category. But we'll try to improve it. So uh, the nice thing about this tool is it also shows you potential improvements. For example, here you can see the opportunities under the opportunities tab. It shows that reduce unused JavaScript. If you reduce the unused JavaScript, it can potentially save you some load time, initial load time. So today we'll see how you can do that. So here I'm running the website on my local machine. And let's first see which are the most unused codes in our website. First hit inspect, then hit command shift P. It will bring up a coverage. Uh, it will bring up a prompt and you will hit coverage and my coverage tab is already open now you can hit this record button and reload the page so when you are reloading it will now calculate which part of your code are unused which part of the javascript are unused right here you can see we have loaded a lot of things at the far right corner you can see this red and green candle so red means unused and green means used and uh, here you can see the percentage as well if we sort it you can see that this load.sumo.com 94.8 percent of this javascript bundle is unused so this is definitely a uh, wrong thing for any website right so let's try to see what are the issues with this particular plugin uh, so this is a script that we're using on our website uh, this is kind of a tracker tool something like Google Analytics so here we are loading the sumo analytics and on the strategy here you can see we are using lazy on load if you don't know about strategy you can go to the next JS documentation here under the next script section you can see that we can use multiple strategies for loading the scripts for important scripts we use before interactive after interactive is the default one for less important scripts you can use lazy on load um, things like that so if we change the lazy on load to worker what it should do is it will load the script in a web worker so it will not block the main thread of our website and it will potentially improve the performance so we have changed it to worker let's now see it will reload and let's see if load.sumo is still bothering our website speed or not so now you can see that uh, sumo is not here because uh, sumo was loading in a web worker and it didn't block our main thread but you can find sumo analytics still but it's not at the top of our list now so now we have something else and going through the list uh, based on the usage percentage you can sort it and based on the usage percentage you can uh, try to fix the problems one by one and it should potentially improve the speed of your website so this is a very handy tool in the chrome developer tools uh, i hope you understood what i was trying to say uh, thank you so much for watching uh, hopefully this technique will improve the speed of your next year's website have a wonderful day see you in a later video bye